Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing a very highly recommended video, and that is my Rainbow High doll collection for 2023, at least summer of 2023, considering all the dolls that are coming out this year. But I am going to start being a little more picky when it comes to what dolls I'm buying. The Rainbow High like DIY dolls I'm probably not going to get. But anyways guys, I just wanted to show you all of my Rainbow High dolls and their glory, so let's start. But today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. So as you guys may know, I've been doing a Whatnot stream for about two months now, and this stream is going to be my last for a little bit. So for this live, I am going to be co-hosting with the doll room underscore on whatnot. They were the first person I ever watched and bought from and are the absolute sweetest. So how is this going to work? My stream is going to be this Friday, the 16th at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it is going to last for one hour and 30 minutes. In this stream, I'm going to sell off some Monster High dolls, some accessories, and I'm going to be giving away Midnight Runway Frank. Then once my stream ends, we all will go to the doll room underscore show. So bookmark both of our shows. And who knows, I might even just bid and buy one of you guys a doll so you'll have to stay tuned to see if that happens now if you're <laughs> unaware of what the whatnot app is it is a selling app where live streaming and selling come together in the middle to make this whatnot baby <laughs> and as always if you use my link you will get 15 dollars as a sign up bonus if you are a new user that you could spend on any of your purchases which includes your first one which could be this show and guys i'm actually going to be selling my first piece of like merchandise ever they are these cute little stickers of my little character's head and each one of them is numbered and signed because there's only going to be a hundred of these and then we're going to move on to the next sticker eventually they will be on my storefront window so in case you don't find anything with your 15 dollars, you can definitely buy one of these little stickers so guys make sure to bookmark the new show and also if you aren't a member of whatnot just join with my link and you'll get 15 dollars to spend but once again thank you so much whatnot for the sponsorship and back to the video so this is not going to be in the order I got the dolls, but I do want to just point out my first Rainbow High doll. So as you guys know, Skylar Supremacy is a big thing on this channel. I love Skylar. I think I have duplicates of every Skylar except for Winter Break. So Skylar was my first doll. Now, obviously, this is like kind of not my original Skylar. So story time. So this head is from AliExpress. I did a hair video on it years ago. I have my original Skylar head in a box somewhere, but the hair was just really bad. And then I bought the six pack that came out in 2021 when they had neck articulation like added to the basic doll. So I kind Kind of just you know swapped the dolls out <laughs> Like, the only thing original about this doll is pretty much the outfit. Skylar is about to be three years old in July. I was, like, one of the first people to find Skylar. I wasn't obviously posting on social media at the time, but I found her really, really early. But anyways, guys, we're going to start from the top and work our way to the bottom. And by top, I mean here. We're going to look at the top top at the end. So first of all, we have all of my red dolls leading into orange dolls. And as you can tell, we don't have a lot of red dolls, which is kind of surprising. I have Mila, I think that's her name, the red girl from Series 4. Um, I robbed her of her, like, mesh for my Luna that came with the Sunny and Luna 2-pack. It just... It looks better. And then we have Ruby. She's looking a little hot mess. I gotta fix a lot of these. Laurel, Victoria, Georgia. Love my Georgias. I forgot your name, but you know, I'll put it on the screen if I remember. Mina. It's Poppy. And then we have Michelle right there. And now we're moving on to like the yellows and the gold. So I kind of put like the golds next to the yellows because there's really only three yellow dolls, but they all look really good next to each other. So I mean, I'm not mad at it. And I know my Sunny could look a little better, but she's just, she's always been a mess. So maybe one day I'll find a good Sunny. Who knows? There's my Daphne. And then moving down here, we have our green shelf which is also fading into the blue daphne starts the green so we have karma jade harley and olivia and jewel they do need to make some more green dolls they definitely need to make more yellow and red dolls because you guys are going to see there's a lot of pink dolls and yeah <laughs> i definitely really want them to do like different versions of dolls that came out in the earlier years so i'd love series two to get like a revamped version of their basic looks because like with runway they fix like the eyebrows of the dolls because let's be real rainbow high eyebrows were not really great in the beginning they were like really really tiny for their really big eyes. Love my Harley. Um, she's just so pretty and she's a Vegas girl like me. So, you know, we got to represent. So now we're getting onto the superior color, which is blue. We have Kim. Coco, I still need to wash her hair. There's Skylar, as mentioned earlier. We have River, which a lot of people don't like, but I think he has some really great pieces. And then we have Hallie. I still love how her hair is flipped like it is. We have Holly and Gabriella is behind her. She looks really good too. Like I did her hair last year. We have Robin, but I really want to redo her ponytail because I want to like add a flip to the end of it but also like fix it up just a smid we have zoe from shadow high i really love zoe she's like one of my favorite shadow high dolls and that is the end of the blues um we're now gonna get into purple so we have uma right here i have not washed her hair because i've heard like her hair is not the best so i'm just gonna leave it crunchy because it looks okay and then we have crystal this is not my original crystal though this is the one with the neck articulation i got um in 2021 i did a video on her by the way she just had like thicker hair and like also it's like super duper curly and voluminous so we have some of the shadow high girlies that 
are in the purple range. So we have Ainsley, Glitch, the twins, Veronica and Naomi. Then we have Monique in the back. I love her so much. We have Raccoon Eye herself, Lyric. And then next to her, we have Demi Batista. Then over here, we have Phaedra. We have Emmy, which, you know, I'm not the biggest Emmy fan. When she was originally like announced, I thought she was going to be like everything. But like, then I got her and I was like, yeah, I, I don't feel her. <laughs> I think her name's Leela. Like I said, like series four is a blur for me. I don't know why. And then we have Violet and then we have Avery. I did Avery's hair a while ago. Like I detenciled it and I made the bangs like, you know, stay down. And I actually really think they look good. Then we have Tessa and TR and there's like an Ariana Grande perfume right there. Cause like I was spraying stuff with it like a while ago and I just forgot to put it away. TR's hair is like kind of like poofing up a little bit, but like, I, you know, I'm not going to touch it. It's, it's, it's whatever. Then to start off our pink dolls, we have Carla. She's from Shadow High series two. And I love how her fan fell off her hand. It's, it's a vibe. And like, when I say there's too many pink dolls, guys, I mean, there's too many pink dolls. <laughs> like I get it. Pink's a like staple color in a doll line. And a lot of people love pink, but like, there's, there's a lot. So we have Minnie, we have Finn, we have Bella number one, we have Bella number two from Pacific Coast, and Bella number three from Costume Ball line. They're really cute. Um, I need to redo her hair because I use my main Costume Ball Bella for my runway, you know, sketch version of Bella. You'll see her in a second. Then we have Sabrina, which is my favorite out of the Rainbow Divas. I just love her dress. It just, ah, uh, she's so pretty. Kia or Kaya, whatever one you want to call her. Next to her is my favorite from the Sleepover line, which is Brianna. Over here, we we have Priscilla next to Daria. Then we have Carmen. And next to her is Mara. She's really cute. I've never washed her hair either, but it doesn't really need to be washed. And then I have my original Stella, which I put the fashion studio boots on because like I said, fabric boots are completely superior to plastic boots. And this is like the one I got as a replacement from MGA because my original, which I don't think I have anymore, had like a split like hairline and I did not notice when I bought her. Then behind her, we have my favorite doll from the costume ball line, which is my Lola doll. I love her so much. Much. She's my favorite from the Shadow High costume ball wave. Um, I'm the biggest Amaya hater on the internet, probably. And, you know, I, I let it be known. Every time I mention her, I just hate this doll. She just looks like a clown to me, and I just I just don't like her. But, um, yeah, her hair is not doing so well either. Considered getting rid of this Amaya several times now, but I just haven't. And now we're getting down to the dolls that are, like, in grayscale. Now, for Vanessa, I really did not know where to put her. So if you have a good suggestion of what color I should put her under, um, that would be be really helpful. She does have a gold stand, so I could definitely put her next to the gold doll. Then next to her, we have Flashback Mary, aka Natasha. And then we have White Hair Amaya because, you know, Amaya just keeps getting dolls. <laughs> now, I don't mind her white hair look. I think it looks actually really, really pretty. Next to Amaya, we have Aisha, aka Robin's sister. I'm not sure if she's the oldest sister or the youngest sister. She was part of the Rainbow Divas and she's really pretty. And then next to her, we have her. Now, I was not going to buy this doll originally because I just think she's like not really pretty. And that's just my personal opinion if you like her that's cool but my i just don't like her but yeah i'm still not sure about this doll but let me know do you guys like the uh she's from shadow high series two then next to adia is eliza she's from shadow high the costume ball line then next to her we have margo she's from pacific coast i love this doll once you detensil her hair it's so nice like it's super silk and then next to her is aiden and now we're moving on to like shadow high pretty much wave one in entirety miss heather grayson then we have chanel i love her so much and then next to her is rex and then we have luna aka cloudy madison if you know you know <laughs> um she's just vibing back here i definitely think the new one is actually really really pretty and i just i love her like and then next to her we have nicole i really should redo nicole's like little curls because it has kind of fallen and then next to her is ash and he's also very slept on i think he's really good but pretty much guys that is all of the color coordination in the collection of mine but now we're gonna move on to duplicates as i call them <laughs> so i did color coordination down here as well so as you can see i've made Mix my cheer dolls with my winter break dolls. So I have both Ruby's dolls right there. I really think that Ruby has the best cheer doll. And then her like winter break dolls in the back because like mine has like a horrible hairline. <laughs> and then we have Poppy from cheer and then Poppy from winter break. Then we have Sunny from cheer and Sunny from winter break. And then we have Jade's cheer doll and Jade's winter break doll. And as you can tell, Jade's hair is still crunchy. I was supposed to wash their hair, I think maybe a year ago for like Christmas, but I just never did it. And then if you guys went to the Rainbow High pop-up event last year, you know who this doll is. This is my custom uh, skeleton jade that Zach's dolls did for me. And I really love her to this day. She's really cool. And I really wish they would have done her 
in the costume ball line as well but you know they didn't now like i said i have skylar dupes <laughs> so um i have a basic skylar back there and i got it for eight dollars at target on clearance in 2021 and she has neck articulation the only problem with her is she has a really low hairline and then we have my cheer skylar which i love so much and then we have winter break skylar in the back right there i definitely regret getting rid of the other one i had because she's just so pretty and i love how curly her hair is and then down here we have robin's costume ball doll then behind her we have cheer violet and then we have my costume ball violet which i waited to get on clearance which i'm happy i did and then we have winter break violet which is notoriously wonky which i've kept her that way because like i did a poll a long time ago asking if i should keep her this way and a lot of people said it makes her have some kind of charm <laughs> so um she's always going to be my wonky violet okay guys i'm not sure how well you're going to hear me on this clip but this is like my special edition shelf <laughs> so i have jet doss which is very sentimental to me because she's the number five one that mga sent me back in the day and i just treasure her to this day because she just she means a lot to me then we have a lily she stole my favorite rainbow high doll to date like i recommend getting her i'm afraid she's never gonna go on sale like she's worth her money like 100 percent. she's super beautiful and then we have the bella i was talking to you guys about that i did a custom of this year my friend chloe's world at 96 i did this dress and it's so beautiful like yes this doll is inspired by ariana grande's grammys look i think it's from 2020 or 2019 can't remember but yeah um this doll's like kind of like vibe appeared in season one it was a sketch we never got to see it in like full animation so um i would love the to actually make like a doll of this doll because <laughs> i feel like this would be a great holiday doll and then next to her we have roxy flop <laughs> she's really cute but like she for a holiday doll should have had a massive dress like this because this like mermaid style dress is just not it like, i love all the gems on it but like i think she definitely should have had like a really big poofy dress just to give off holiday vibe then next to her is maria garcia she's actually really nicely detailed and then next to her is paris hilton which is really cool as well I have her in her second outfit even though this should have been her main outfit. And then last but not least, we have Sunny and Luna from that two pack that just came out. I do need to wash their hair still and I really want to do it. So now I'm not sure where runway is going to go. I might just put some risers up here. And also I have a rainbow sign right there. So let me show you what it looks like all lit up in the dark. And there is my little rainbow sign on camera. It doesn't read every color for some reason, but in person, like you can see that there's an orange, green and blue. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Now it's actually showing you the colors, but um, I got it at Hobby Lobby, which is like, funny for a rainbow to be there but you know go off <laughs> and i'm actually happy i love it up here because it just looks really great and it kind of marries two bookcases together okay guys so that is my entire rainbow high doll collection now i do have all of the junior high doll they're just in my storage unit at the moment i also have most of the playset but yeah this is pretty much every rainbow high and shadow high doll up to date as of june of 2023 of course in july we're getting a lot of dolls so this is going to be out of date i've been needing to do this video and today was the day so um, I'm very excited to see what you guys think of my little rainbow high display. I kind of wish I had like a rainbow rug right there. Like that'd be super cute. Let me know who was your first rainbow high doll and how many rainbow high dolls do you have? Um, I would love to know. But anyways, guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And you should join the cornfield. And once again, guys, my final whatnot stream for the moment is going to be this Friday, June 16th at 3 p.m. And it's going to be an hour and 30 minutes. You guys should definitely stop by and then join me in the doll room underscore show right afterwards i'm also selling my first merch which is like a cute little sticker and there's only a hundred of them and they're numbered and signed by me so um i would love to see you guys get those if you really want them but yeah i hope to see you guys there on friday but anyways guys sorry for the lack of videos lately i've just been like not mentally there but anyways guys i love you so much and i will see you in the next video but until then bye